Hello everyone! In this video, I'll be showing how to make a cheese ball machine gun. If you need to ask why anyone would want a cheese ball machine gun, you should probably turn back now. This project is built around a powerful electric leaf blower. Any leaf blower should do, the more airflow the better. The barrel is the part of this project that required careful design. Feeding the cheese ball ammunition into the blower's high pressure jet of air isn't as simple a task as you might imagine. It requires a little bit of thinking in the realm of fluid dynamics. Here is the barrel without paint. It's assembled with several lengths of 1 inch diameter PVC pipe with a T-fitting connecting to the hopper. Under normal conditions, if air were flowing through this barrel, most of it would exit the far end, but some of it would be redirected upwards through the T. This is bad news for feeding ammunition because this upward stream of air would be actively fighting against cheese balls falling into the barrel. This is where our fluid dynamic trickery comes into play. If just before the hopper, the airflow is directed downward, not only will it pass by the opening without obstructing the cheese balls, it will actually produce a vacuum effect, pulling them right into the barrel. To cause this airflow redirection, I carved a small ramp out of a scrap of a PVC fitting. This ramp fits inside a short piece of 1 inch pipe, which after the ramp has been glued to the inside with PVC cement, is pressed into the T-fitting that holds the hopper. Notice that the ramp is angled such that it directs airflow away from the hopper. That's the important part. On the opposite side of the T-fitting from the airflow redirect is the rest of the barrel, which is nothing more than an unmodified piece of 1 inch diameter pipe, about 2.5 feet long. The hopper itself is the same container that cheese balls are sold in. A hole is simply drilled through the side for the fitting to pass through. In this case, I've also taped a wood block to the front so that the fitting isn't the only thing supporting the weight of the whole container. The best way to attach the barrel to the leaf blower might be different for other blowers than the one I used. Mine came with a convenient attachment for bagging leaves that was easy to modify by using epoxy to secure a fitting into the opening. The barrel presses right into the 1 inch fitting, and that's that. One final thing that can be done to really pick up performance is to build an agitator into the back of the hopper. I drilled a hole through a bolt and used it to feed a stiff wire through the bottom of the container. By bending a handle on the outside and a sort of lever on the inside, I can use it to stir up the cheese balls to clear any jams and make sure they continue to feed properly. Now you know how to build a cheese ball machine gun. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave me a comment below and take a look at some of my other projects. If you like what you see, subscribe to my YouTube channel, Nighthawk in Light. Thank you for watching.